Hey, this is the third movie in chapter two. Um, first slide is on regardless of material boundary. Again, this would be the default. You don't need to put a modifier at all if you're regardless of material boundary. And material boundary, we're talking about a modifier or lack of modifier in a datum reference in a feature control frame. Um, then there's the maximum material boundary. That's where you have a M modifier in the datum reference and then least boundary, least material boundary, that's where you have the least material condition symbol in the um, data reference. Um, again, here's the modifier symbols that are used. Let's talk a little bit about the feature control frames. Again, this is how it's set up. The geometric tolerance requirements, that's what it's for, specifying a geometric tolerance. Um, and here's how a feature control frame looks. First of all, in a um, applied to a surface um, in a model, and also applied to surfaces in a drawing. Okay, so what we would do is, is we would take this um, extension line off of this surface and then we put this flatness requirement on here so this was a flatness requirement and then this is a tolerance um, we're going to start with the um, with the form tolerances in chapter 5 because form tolerances don't have any datums um, no datum features are used for form tolerances so in this case we're controlling a surface and this is how those um, feature control frames are applied to a surface here is how a feature control frame is applied to a feature of size and also to threads. Um, so what we would have here is we would have a two extension lines and then we have a dimension line and then that dimension line defines the, feet, the size for the feature of size. That's this 375 plus or minus five dollar five thousands tolerance and and then the feature control frame is applied right to that feature size okay so the feature control frame comes underneath the feature size and really what that tells you is that hey this positional tolerance feature control frame applies to this feature of size which is the slot um, these are some ways you can uh, put a feature control frame on a threaded part again the feature control frame comes underneath the dimension, underneath the callout for the threads. Um, in this case, what we're doing is stating what feature is, is being controlled by the positional tolerance. In this case, we're saying, hey, we want to control the minor diameter of the thread or the major diameter of the thread. Um, at some point, the textbook will tell you that without these minor or majors, um, the feature control frame when applied to a thread applies to the pitch diameter. Um, so if you wanted to apply to the minor diameter or the major diameter, um, then you'd have to specify as such. Okay, datum identifications. Datums, um, datum features, they could be surfaces or they could be features of size to apply a datum to. Um, and the datum is applied with a square and here's the proportions of it, and it's attached to a filled-in rectangle. And here's how we would apply datums, okay, to a surface, first of all. Okay, so in this case, we would have an extension line coming off of that surface, and then we have the filled-in triangle attached to that extension line, and then our datum reference here. Another way to do it is to put it, like, right on the object lines, like we're showing here. And, and we don't care what side it's on. It could be on this side or it could be on that side. Either either is acceptable. And the other way you could do it is you could attach that datum triangle directly to a, a feature control frame. And again, it means the same thing. In these cases, all these datum A's mean that this surface right here is being defined as a datum A. And then this perpendicular surface here is being defined as datum B. So that's how to apply a datum symbol uh, to surfaces. Now, how to apply a datum symbol to a feature of size.
Okay, two ways to do this. Well, there's several ways to do it here. Um, in, in this case, what we're doing is we we put our datum triangle right on the dimension line. That would be a good way to do it. Um, in the, and that says that that feature size is. 0.788 diameter is the datum B. Okay, and over here, what we've done is we've replaced one of the arrows in the um, dimension line with the datum symbol, which is another way to do it. Um, you can see that method over here too. Um, another way to do it is for this diameter here, we take that leader and we apply the datum triangle directly to the leader. Um, that's a valid way to do it too. And another way to do it is put that datum directly in line with the dimension line. Okay, that's how you know that that datum is a, that feature size is indeed a, a, a datum. So that's how we apply the um, datum symbols to a drawing or model. Let's talk a little bit about targets. Okay, so w with targets, what we're trying to do is, you know, with this one over here, well, this one over here, we had the whole surface is, is, is a datum, okay? In datum targets, what you're trying to do is you're trying to, to make a datum a series of points, lines, or planes. It could be three points to define a plane, for instance. And we do that through datum targets. So datum targets require specific locations on the datum features to be used for establishing the datums. Um, Identifying the letter and the number in the lower half. Okay, so this means point two of datum A, and this means point two of datum B, and then the target size in the top hat. Okay, so if there was a diameter of a target area, we would put that area in, in the front size, that that diameter of that area. Um, here's the proportions for a datum target. If it's a point, it just shows up as an X. If it's a line, it shows up like a center line. And then if it's an area, it shows up like a um, phantom line hatched. Okay, that's how to fill in the data. Now, what does those references look like? Um, uh, hang on a second. Let's talk about a datum reference frame. Again, we're getting our, ahead of ourselves because we'll talk about datum reference frames considerably. So while this section is just about symbology, we also kind of use this section to introduce some of the topics. So let's talk about a datum reference frame. If your datums are, are um, three surfaces that could be mutually perpendicular, we've established a datum reference frame. It's created by datum feature references and a feature control frame or note. And one part may have multiple datum reference frames. Um, Basic dimensions. Basic dimensions are theoretically exact dimensions um, to which plus or minus tolerances are not applicable. Um, the reason why that is, is that the geometric tolerance that's stated in the feature control frame will define the effective tolerance of those basic dimensions. Okay, so, so what we're saying when we put a dimension, box around a dimension and make it a basic dimension is that it does, a, a normal plus or minus tolerance does not apply. Okay, that the tolerance for this feature, the tolerance for um, this feature will be found in a feature control frame somewhere on the drawing. Okay, so it's identified by a note or a rectangle around the dimensions. Um, tolerance shown in feature control frame, or it could be tolerance is not directly applied to the dimension value. But for us, I don't really need notes. I mean, I would just say, well, if a tolerance is coming from a, a geometric feature control frame, then you're going to have to put that that um, that dimension in a box to make it basic. Um, past practices, we we like to talk about this this author likes to talk about things that that have changed okay so existing drawings and models may comply with previous standards so that's why you kind of have to know a little bit about other ones okay so essentially um, concentricity was always something that we used um, 
and and now we're not going to use it anymore with the 2018 symbol um, and, and, and then symmetry again is, has gone away um, and and then regardless of feature size we used to use S's on the drawings to, to tell you if regardless of feature size um, but now regardless of feature size is default which means that um, you know don't put the S on there anymore and then it's defaults to regardless of feature size um, here's a little slide you can look at this for your own references about um, some of the other things that are done so this concludes our movies for chapter two thank you